Business editor Richard Southern joins us now with a look at the latest business headlines. Richard, the loony has been on a roll lately, but the big question is, will it continue? Yeah, it's been quite the comeback, uh, Janela, for the Canadian dollar. It bottomed out like stocks did in late March. It was down to like 68 cents in late March. Since then, though, it's up like six full cents. The Canadian dollar today above 74 cents U.S. It takes about a dollar 34 Canadian, maybe a little bit less than that, to buy one U.S. dollar. A part of the reason for the Canuck box comeback has been oil. Uh, oil's up like 90% in the past month, so that's helped out the Canadian dollar. But the real reason why the loonie is back where it is now is because of the U.S. dollar. Investors flocked to the greenback in March as a safe haven play. Since then, though, traders are looking for more risk. They've taken their money out of the U.S. dollar, and that's helped out the loonie. But Janela currency experts I'm talking with, they say there may not be much more room for the loonie to run higher because a lot of the good news in relation to the recovery from COVID-19 may already have been baked in. So just our luck, Janela, the Canadian dollar strengthening, and we have nowhere to go. We can't go to the States right now. Just our luck, Janela. Yeah, we'll have to hold on to those uh, coins for a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we could see a big change to Toronto's skyline in the coming years. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, uh, another big building. In fact, this, if it gets built, Janela, would not only be the biggest building in Canada, but uh, not only the biggest building in Toronto, but Canada. Look at this. Wow. This is the, uh, the artist's rendering of it. Dutch developers proposing this 87-story building. It's skinny but mighty tall. It would uh, reach up to the sky from Bay and Bloor, and in the bottom would be retail, uh, then there would be residential, and at the top couple of floors, there'd be rentable space for uh, events, and then on the top floor, there'd be a big restaurant with what the developer says would be spectacular views. Janela, this would reach 1,063 feet high, only 800 feet shorter than the CN Tower. That is insane. I have to wonder, though, if, you know, City Council has the appetite for any more of these skyscrapers because they said, you know, the, the one at Young and Bloor, it's like just a little bit, you know, 70 floors or something like that. No more of those. Well, there's two gigantic. We already have one Bloor East, which is already complete. And then the, on the other side of the street, they're building another massive one. But you know, City Council might need the money right now, might need the property taxes. you got to consider that. But uh, on, the, uh, on the other hand, perhaps uh, there's not as many demand, uh, as much demand for condos. If we're going to work at home, maybe we don't need to be in the yeah. city. So it'll be interesting to see if this thing actually gets built. You know. Really quickly here, the pandemic has crippled airlines around the world, but some signs of life from south of the border. Uh, American Airlines said today it is adding summer flights because passengers are starting to book tickets again. America says it, uh, American says it will plan to uh, fly 55% of its domestic schedule in March. That's way up from the 20% it's currently flying. So signs of life in the airplane business, it's not clear uh, whether or not uh, Canadian Airlines will be adding flights. Speaking of travel, Janela coming up just after 6.30. We're looking at how Vegas is reopening and uh, some of the destinations we're dreaming about visiting right now just after 6.30. Can't wait. We'll see you then. Thanks.